For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, December 21st marks the winter solstice. But what does that mean from an astronomical perspective? From Earth, no matter where you happen to be, the Sun reaches in its southernmost position, according to NASA. Seen from the Northern Hemisphere, the Sun makes its lowest, shortest path across the sky on December 21st. In terms of hours of sunlight, the solstice marks the shortest day of the year for the Northern Hemisphere, and the longest for the Southern Hemisphere. The reason for the Sun's changing height in the sky? Earth's tilt as it orbits. On the solstice, the North Pole is at its farthest tilt of 23.5 degrees away from the Sun. It will be completely outside the Sun's reach, experiencing 24 hours of complete darkness according to EarthSky.org. After the solstice, days will start getting longer again in the Northern Hemisphere. But the extra sunlight doesn't mean it will start getting any warmer. The oceans, which moderate temperatures on land, need vast amounts of solar energy to begin to heat back up. This year's solstice is especially unique, as it coincides with an event known as the Great Conjunction. Jupiter and Saturn will appear to almost touch, something which happens once every 20 years this century, according to NASA.